Hi there, I'm Terry Mariani, voice of Portland State Women's Basketball, and we're here this afternoon to kind of preview the Vikings program for the 2019-2020 season. Being joined now by head coach Lynn Kennedy. Coach, the last time we visited, you had just captured your first Big Sky Championship. That first one is so special. Yeah, it, it was, you know, especially where the program had come from uh, four years ago and the development and changing culture and, and just seeing our players grow and develop. Uh, over the years um, to kind of sum it up with that championship with those seniors that left last year was was special um, but it's also an opportunity to grow the program and get to the next level and we're excited about you know the start for this year and and looking at our non-conference uh, schedule and then also the big side conference schedule as well and seeing what we can do in March again. Well you're right you did that last year with the, the core group of your team last year had been with you for three years um, you graduated not just three players. I mean, he graduated the tournament MVP in Ashley Bolston, first team all Big Sky, Sydney Riley, and the defensive Big Sky Defensive Player of the Year in Courtney West, quality players. So you've brought in six freshmen now. You actually have to do some coaching this year. <laughs> Going back to the beginning of it, but it's it's been kind of exciting to kind of have a fresh start, you know, with the new players coming in. We're, we're going back to basics now as far as our system and program and what we're doing to uh, get to that next level. But we have some experience coming back as well too. So it's the combination of both, you know, the new players coming in and then kind of the old players, the experience that we have and where they've been. Well, we'll talk about some of those new players in a few minutes, but let's talk about some of the key returners you have coming back because you've got some solid players coming back. We'll begin with your lone senior, Jordan Stotler. Be nice, she's right over there. Yeah, I'll have to be nice, but she's uh, she's really coming to her own, you know, during the fall. I think she's taking a new role as far as the team. Last year, she probably was the fourth or fifth option. It's just how it was, you know, with those three seniors that kind of stood out. Um, but now she's coming more into a scoring role. Uh, she can dominate the paint against anybody that we play. Uh, she's so athletic, she's, uh, her length, uh, being able to get to the basket, but, I think still I've always said this, she's one of our best outside shooters as well, so we're trying to use her more on the outside. Um, you can't get around her. She's going to block shots, and uh, I, I really liked her uh, presence as a rebounder in the fall. She's, she's developed more rebounding, just a sense for the ball going after it, and we need more of that this year as we kind of take that next step defensively. And now returning for her third year, your starting point guard, Kylie Jimenez, not just an offensive player, but a great defensive player. Yeah, and, and taking those next steps as a leader, you know, that point guard leader that we want on the court. Um, she is so good coming off of the dribble, you know, being able to shoot, being able to score, and just continue to develop that game. She reads the defense well. She sees what we want to do. She's kind of like that extra coach on the court that you always want with your point guard. And it's just about her continuing to develop her game, continuing to get better. Um, get to that next level. She's probably going to have to be more of a scorer for us this year, you know, losing Ashley and Courtney and Sydney. Um, and she's taken that, uh, that role, and, and especially in the fall, she's kind of developed more of a three-point shot threat. Um, she did a great job in a few games last year, but we want it more consistent. And then your outstanding sophomore, Desiree Hansen, kind of made a name for herself at the Big Sky Tournament, yeah. hitting that winning shot. Yeah, she did. You know, I think everyone sees that. Uh, confetti angel picture and and so she's such a great player um, it's getting her to that next level too as well and not just being kind of one shot Des but we need her to be more consistent uh, to, provide, to provide more shots on a consistent basis um, she has the ability to take over games we saw that late against Montana State um, you know in the first half on the road so I think for her it's just being more consistent well, let's uh, finish up with a couple comments on your schedule. We'll start with the non-conference schedule. How exciting of a non-conference schedule you have. You have the uh, preseason WNIT, and we're all excited here to have Tennessee coming to the Viking Pavilion, one of the most uh, I mean, historic teams when it comes to women's basketball. They are, and for us to have them here in the arena, I think is exciting for our community and, and really the women's basketball fans in this area. Um, it, Hopefully it's going to be close to a sellout or a sellout and the opportunity for us to showcase who we are as a program against, you know, like you said, one of the story programs in the history of women's basketball um, is exciting for our team. Your conference schedule is going to be a little bit different this year. Talk about the challenges that's going to bring. 
Yeah, so we're the, the kind of the lone wolf, they call it. You know, we're the team that kind of is their own travel partner. It's going to be tough. I mean, I think, you know, as that that team, you, you know, you look at the schedule, we have 14 games where the team before us, you know, doesn't play a game. And so that's going to be, it's going to be challenging. But I, th I think for our team, it's going to be an opportunity to showcase what they can do in a tough situation. And it really prepares you for March. I don't think anyone feels sorry for us during the conference season. Um, I think most of the teams are going to end up going through it at some point. And so I think this is our year. We embrace it. We accept that challenge and that opportunity. And we're going to have to prepare a little bit differently. You know, our, our schedule changes a little bit, you know, as we get into the conference schedule as far as what days we're taking off. Um, but as far as conference goes, you want to be healthy. You want to be playing your best basketball in March. And I think we've done that the last few years. And so that's still going to be our continued goal as we look towards March and what we want to do at the end of the season. Well, Coach Tipoff is right around the corner. You can see it all on Watch Big Sky, powered by Pluto TV. Now we have an opportunity to sit with Portland State senior, lone senior, Jordan Stotler. You know, as the senior now, you are the one that the uh, young players are going to be looking to, uh, to kind of lead them, guide them how the program wants to be run. What kinds of things maybe did you learn from last year's group that might help you perform in that leadership role this year? You know, I learned a lot from them last year. Just, um, they always taught me to be positive. If I was having an off day, they never told me like, hey, you're doing this wrong. They built me up all the time and I plan on doing that just the same with the young players because I know it can be stressful coming in, you know, fast paced team, they might, know, they might not know what to do. And I just want to be there being positive for them. Now you have six new freshmen you're kind of bringing into the fold. Uh, are there some things that you and your teammates have done already or maybe even over the course of the summer to kind of make them feel welcomed? Yeah, this group is like really friendly with each other. I think we're all really good friends so far and I'm excited to see how close we all get throughout the year. But yeah, social media has been a really big part of that. We all followed each other before we got here. We all knew each other. So it was nothing, it was nothing too knew when they got here we all were like hey what's up we hang out a lot so yeah i think we got a lot really good chemistry going on so far hey, you were actually a new one last year transferring in from umqua community college so you kind of know that feeling that they go through you've gone through it twice your first community college experience and now here at portland state last year so maybe you can understand a little bit more of what they're going through yeah i do because i'm a really shy person i'm not very outgoing and so I know how it feels to come in and be a new person if you don't know anyone. So I think with our team being super friendly, it doesn't make it as hard coming in. Well, as I mentioned, you transferred in last year from Unqua Community College. Outstanding career down there, uh, breaking records with blocking shots and rebounds and, and everything. Kind of took a step back, didn't need the offense as much last year because of the big three. What kinds of, what, what aspects of the game have you been working on individually to maybe help you be that go-to player this year? Um, I've worked on my post game a lot. I think that's something that I need, needed to um, find more often. And um, just being confident. I wasn't as confident last year, and I know I need to be more confident because coach wants me to shoot a lot more. So I've just been working on being confident in the post and going up strong and and looking at the uh, schedule, especially the non-conference schedule and, and having Tennessee here in the Viking Pavilion, what's kind of been the vibe with your team? That's, that's really exciting to have that opportunity. Yeah, it's really exciting. I think for the program, it'll be really great to get you know, Portland State out on the maps more. And for our team, I think it's really good for the newcomers to just know this is what we expect. This is, it's gonna be a fast paced game. Like this is how the whole season's gonna be. And we want to play Boise State and all these other teams out in post game, the postseason too. So, just knowing what we need to do preseason, it'll be great for the postseason. Well, a lot of times when a team has won a conference championship or a tournament championship, and they lose some key players, everyone thinks, "Oh, it's going to be a rebuilding year the next year." You know, what do you say to those people? Just watch. <laughs> Jordan Stotler, I love that answer. 
Well, and you can watch just by going to Watch Big Sky TV powered by Pluto TV. We will see you this season here in the Viking Pavilion. Well, this week, the Portland State Vikings football team prepares to take on the Southern Utah Thunderbirds on the gridiron. And I'm with a, a proud Thunderbird graduate here, Barrett Peary, as the Vikings basketball team prepares for season three under this head coach. And uh, coach, uh, basketball season starting to seem like the Christmas season. Seems like it starts earlier every year. When did you guys actually start practicing for real? I was going to ask you when it ended. <laughs> um, I think we're always practicing, always, you know, working on it. but. Yeah, it does start earlier and earlier. You know, coaches, you've heard them a lot recently in interviews talking about how uh, it used to be October 15th for years and years, no matter what. And uh, now here we are. We, we started sometime around September 25th or something like that. So uh, the guys are rolling. We had a great summer with this group. And so things aren't really new for these guys, but, you know, putting on the practice gear and, and uh, making it a little bit more exciting that way and we're able to go a little bit longer and a little bit more consistent is a nice thing. You have a style of basketball you like to play, getting closer to getting the team together that you want. Uh, you look at some of those statistical benchmarks last year in terms of offensive rebounding, in terms of turning teams over, uh, very successful. But uh, shooting was a struggle at times. Yeah, we didn't shoot the ball well. I thought we played the right way all year long, and I thought we had a great group of guys that worked really hard. Uh, we didn't shoot the ball well enough. We spent a ton of time recruiting shooters and getting guys that could shoot the ball. I think our skill level is up. It's an entertaining brand of basketball, and you got to play it in a brand new sparkly arena last year. Attendance figures higher than they've been in about 15 years, over 2,000 for a couple of those games. I think when people get in here, they see this place, they see the entertaining basketball on the floor, they're going to want to come back. Yeah, we have a beautiful place to play, and the first year was really good for that, getting people to understand what we have now. We're continuing to do that. You know, we still have plenty of people right here in our own city that don't know we have this beautiful facility, so when they come in for the first time, it really wows them. But uh, the guys know we have a wonderful place to play, and I think we have a good brand of basketball, a good product, and something that people can really enjoy. A lot of newcomers this year, but let's get to those returners. Obviously, you start with your junior point guard, Holland Boo Boo Woods, second team all big sky last year, top 10 in scoring assists and uh, steals and uh, how has he added to his game going into year three here? You know he's gotten better and better in every way as far as basketball is concerned. I think the big thing for him is is I think people will see he's really worked on his body. He's a bigger stronger guy right now. A guy that really um, can take more punishment, can take more pounding. Um, as you see him play now he can get to the basket and not get knocked off his line near as easy as before as a younger guy, as a lighter guy. Um, but he's always expanding his game. He's a guy that works in the gym and gets better every day. I imagine his leadership skills are going to get a big boost this year. He, he actually has an heir apparent now, young guy in the program, a freshman, uh, Jaden Nielsen Skinner from Salem. Yeah, Skinny's done a great job getting acclimated to, you know, being a freshman, being here all summer, and has really dove in and done a nice job. Skinny fits us, and we were really excited to get him here finally after being committed to us for what seemed like two years. Not a returning starter for you, big guy in the middle, Sal New, who led the conference in block shots, but I think where he really surprised with his, with his uh, offensive prowess seemed to get better during the course of the season, nearly average double figure scoring for you. Sal has really grown as an offensive player. We'll expect all those things as far as the rebounding, the block shots, changing shots around the rim, running and finishing. But what I think you'll see is that he's really expanded his game, facing the basket, his skill level has gone up, and he's another guy that had a great summer in the gym. Sal transferred from Hutchinson uh, College in Kansas, a Bronx, uh, New York native. Another uh, two-year transfer came to you last year, Rashad Goolsby out of Phoenix. What's his role in this team? Well, that's a, great, that's a great statement for what his role is because Rashad can do a little of everything. As we saw, he's a stat stuffer. He can pass the ball. He can score the ball. He can defend it. He rebounds it. He's a multiple position guy for us. And so as he's grown into the system, he really understands how to play and what we do. So he's a guy that we can plug into a lot of spots, and I really like who he is. Marcus Golder, a, grad, a graduate transfer from Valparaiso, and you got a couple other seniors coming in as grad transfers. Yeah, we took three this year, which we were really excited about. The experience that these guys bring is, is really, really important to us. You know, Matt Hauser comes from Santa Clara, where he played a ton of minutes and started a bunch of games the last couple of years for them. A grad transfer, I think he's a guy that plays multiple positions can help Boo Boo at the point guard a little bit as well as play on the wing, shoots the ball and handles the ball. And then Alonzo Walker is a do everything type guy, a guy around the rim that can finish, really is gonna be good for us at the front of the press. 
uh, guarding multiple people and really putting pressure on it, but a guy that can do a lot of different things. So the experience that those two guys will have will really, really help us. Walker coming from Idaho State. You also got a, a new assistant coach from the same place. Yeah, yeah, we're excited to have CJ. CJ's been a guy that we've all known for a lot of years, and it was an easy transition for us as a staff. Among the two-year college transfers, a couple of uh, prolific scorers at the uh, two-guard position from uh, two-year schools. Yeah, yeah, Chris Whitaker for sure. He's a junior college All-American, comes from Coach East, as well as Kamani Binder, came from a school in Florida, Santa, uh, excuse me, school in Florida. And so we're excited about those guys. Both guys really scored the ball. Both guys have great bodies, good athleticism, and guys that we really feel can transition right into what we're doing. Exhibition game coming up before the end of this month. You have uh, Puget Sound from the Northwest Conference to open things up, and then a very exciting road trip coming up after that. Yeah, you know, we'll go one game at a time. We got some exhibitions and, and, you know, start out here at home with a couple of them as well as going to exhibition on the road at New Mexico this month in a closed scrimmage. And then we'll be hot and heavy at Indiana in early November. So this is a good group for that. Ever been to Assembly Hall as a coach or a player? I have. I've been in there. And so it'll be exciting, exciting for the guys. Great tradition. And uh, we think we'll take a good team there. Not to mention a trip to Hawaii after that. Everybody's got to be excited about that. We're excited about the season coming up at the Big Sky Conference. Portland State Vikings getting underway very soon. Coach, thanks for joining us. Best of luck this season. Thank you. Appreciate it. Portland State Vikings basketball team returns one of the more exciting players in the conference in junior point guard Holland Boo Boo Woods. Top 10 in the conference in scoring assists and steals and a second team all Big Sky Conference selection. Former freshman of the year in the Big Sky. And uh, Boo Boo, you've got a uh, a lot of new faces to work into the mix uh, this year. How have practice has been going so far here early on? Um, it's going good. We have a lot of good players this year, a lot of individually uh, talented players, and we've all been starting to like combine together and bond together and mesh together, and it's looking really good. This is a team where the success is predicated on tough defense, forcing turnovers and crashing the, the board, something you were able to do pretty successfully consistently last year. What you weren't able to do con as consistently is score the basketball. Do you see a little more scoring punch out of this group this year? Absolutely. Just guys have been making the shots that we're supposed to make. Even the tough ones are going in. Um, so maybe if our our uh, offensive rebounding does go in, uh, down a little bit, we, we are, we're going to be scoring the ball. Well, your primary goal is setting other people up. But did you feel a little extra pressure to, uh, to score a little more outside last year and try and pick up the offense? Um, I just wanted to do what was best for the team. If I had to score it, I'd score it, uh, but always try to make the right play. Well, you were the young gun a couple of years ago as freshman of the year, and now you get to be the mentor to an up-and-comer, a true freshman joining the club this year. We may see him get in quite a bit. Uh, Jaden Nielsen Skinner out of South Salem High School. How's he doing so far? Um, no doubt. Jaden uh, Skinny, he's been, he pushes me. Uh, he gives me that role, like the big brother role, and to like teach somebody and learn like learn from me and uh i've had that for two years i had that with deontay strickland and now i like to have the roles flipped it it's nice a little bit let's talk about deontay a little bit uh, tragic loss in the off season with his uh his death uh, uh what was his impact on the program last year and how does the team plan to honor uh strick this season his impact was huge uh, he was a key player for us it, absolutely down the stretch uh when we went on that win streak um he, he was a big part of that uh, and it couldn't have happened without him got a New guy coming in, uh, graduate transfer, Matt Hauser, obviously uh, going to help with outside scoring, but uh, can give you a break as well. Um, no doubt. Uh, Matt can play with the ball in his hands as well. So for me to be off the ball, that's huge. Um, that's something me and uh, Coach Perry have always wanted for me um, and wanted for the team, give me a little break off the ball and not have to make every single play with the ball in my hands. So to be able to give the ball to somebody else and be able to trust somebody else, it's, it's a real nice luxury to have. Talking to Coach Peary about your offseason development, uh, one thing he mentioned first of all was uh, what you've done to your body. Uh, let's talk about what uh, you did, uh, the kind of work you did during the offseason to, to get bulked up. Um, I, I, I've been taking this offseason really seriously um, with the pre-draft stuff I did. Um, like all the feedback I heard from everybody is I got to get stronger, I got to get bigger. And um, me and Coach Fabian, we really took that serious, proteins, lifting hard, just taking care of my body in general. And that's been a big thing for me this offseason. Bigger, faster, stronger. Is that the goal this year? No doubt, no doubt. You're going to want to come down to Viking Pavilion uh, very soon. Uh, exhibition season gets underway before the end of the month of October. Vikings' first uh, non-league game early in November. Then a fun trip for you guys off to Assembly Hall in Indiana and, uh, and Hawaii. I know everybody's looking forward to that, right? Yeah, ex absolutely. Two big games that we definitely think we can win. Exciting basketball season just around the corner here at Viking Pavilion. Uh, Holland Boo Boo Woods, thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. No problem. Thank you.